right, everybody, welcome back to Jason Design Shop. Today, we're gonna take a look at a hitch for my pickup truck. Let's get started. All right, guys, we got this brand new hitch came in the mail. A little Amazon delivery, I think. Um, Husky, yeah, they make a big um, self-leveling hitch that has a five-year warranty. That's kind of why I grabbed it, but I don't know what can go wrong. It's all metal. Okay, so we're gonna break this down as fast as we can, show all the parts, put it all together, and put it on the trailer and the truck, and hook it all up in one fast, smooth video. Let's do this. Okay, I've isolated everything over here for the anti-sway bar. This is the knob that is going to, this is the knob that is going to hook into here. This mount on the side of the trailer. And look, it comes with the four or six, two, five, six. We're gonna have all these, one more right there, there, okay? So all of those bolts are gonna go into your trailer frame. And uh, it's going to mount up against this. This will go over onto the hitch, which hooks on right here. All right, so we'll leave that over here um, and move on. Oh, and these pins go through here on the end, going from that hole to that hole, which go underneath the, the ball to keep it from coming off. Same with the other one on this end, going through those holes right there locking it and keeping it from coming off of this ball. That's what those pins are for, so you don't need those till the very end. Okay, so I went out and kind of measured the height of my trailer and truck and decided I wanted the ball more even with the, the slot that this goes into in the back of the pickup. Um, maybe a little high still, but we'll see. I can adjust it later, but I think that's what I want. So the next thing we're gonna do is your two washers are in this plastic bag, take them out and they go behind the head here, okay? So there we go. Wow. Okay, see the arc in that? It has little teeth, see those little teeth in the, um, the, the washer? You want that to grab into this, this stuff here. Right. Okay, I know if you're just following your nose, you're gonna wanna put one of these big washers here like we just did, and you're gonna wanna put the other one maybe on the bottom, on this side, right down here. But that's not what happens goes up here, why? Because this has a sliding slot where this can move, right? So it's very loose and open. So we need to cap that and we also lock it in with those teeth that we talked about. Uh, here, it's very tight hole, so it's not a problem, all right? So be sure you get both washers on the top one. Now I have one concern is that the bolts to go into your, through here and these brackets into your trailer, um, there's no bolts. The sway bar came with eight or whatever, two, four, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight, and I got two extra ones. Maybe that seems to fit perfectly here, but what about this one? So do I have to go buy those? I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, a quick look at the diagram of this whole thing. Just wanna show you that they do show these bolts here going to hold on this plate, but they give me seven in this picture, but I got eight. So I have two more, but don't know where they go. So maybe they're just extra. I don't see them anywhere else in the diagram. So we'll see what to do with those later. And notice also all those washers go on a pin that is gonna go inside of here. So you can just stack all those up there for now and we'll decide how to use that later. Oh, also while we're here, I want to look at these brackets right here again. No uh, bolts provided for those in the picture. Again, no bolts provided. So it's not like they didn't send them. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna bolt this to the trailer. And finally, this bar that came with the whole set, you're probably wondering what this is for, goes on the torsion bar to tighten up and bring it all up with the chain hanging down here and all that uh, Leverage you're gonna have it gives you a little leverage to pull it up and snap it in place So you don't need this until you're all done and hooking it up. So just put that off to the side and let's get moving 
There they are, eight tapping screws come down here. Number seven, self-tapping screws, eight. So they wanted to give us that many. And speaking of things that they did not send me, or did send me, since we're here, we got this right with the six screws. This is the same thing with the knob on the side that you don't have to drill any holes in your frame. 13 right there, clamp on sway control bucket, no drilling. Well, that's the one I want, but it looks like I'm gonna have to drill. So with pressure, this may want to fall out, pull forward. So to keep that, because of those, let me get that in there, there. Because of those washers in there, the top is locked in, but the bottom can still go out. So I come down here and you got this adjustment screw, right? Hit that there. And that'll keep you level. Okay, so right now we're very level. So we're gonna start out with that. And we'll go from there. All right, don't drop this on your foot. It weighs a ton. Put that in there. There we go. Finally got your pin here. Run it through. Find the spot, there it is. I've already got, got one that has a, a key on it, a lock, so you won't uh, get this stolen from you, right? because I'm gonna just pull that and walk away with that if you don't take it out, and that's expensive. All right, next. Okay, so now we wanna make sure that this is the right height off the ground as we go to back up. <laughs> it's over there for now. Um, so to get this generally in the right place, they want us to measure X, right? So we need to measure X, the top of the trailer down to here. And then when we put our bar in here, that will tell us the Y dimension, right? We'll see if we're, we're good. All right, so let's see how high the top of the hitch is on the trailer to the ground. Okay, from the ground, top of the hitch, look at a side view. I'm seeing 25 and a half. And 25 and a half, almost perfect. All right. So 25, 24 to 26, they say, we need to be on our Y. I'm going by A up there at uh, 10 inches off the ground. All right, let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, your torsion bar. You can see me here. This is your big bar. It goes up inside here and it's gonna click. And this is also how we take it out. So we'll put it up in here. And it should snap in like that. It doesn't come out. But if we want to take it out, we pull this out. This pin out and lift up on the other end. See? And it falls right out. That's how that goes in. And there we go. So we're in. We'll have to grease that later. Okay, let's see how high off the ground we are. All right, we are, looks like 14, let's call it 14. So we are four inches too high. So let's lower the hitch. Okay, we wanna accomplish two things here. We wanna level out your trailer so it doesn't sag here by lifting up on those bars and putting more weight to the front tires. That's gonna make it drive safer. It's gonna keep sag from sagging the back of your truck down right so we got to make sure it level it's about leveling everything so we measure these distances here and here we're going to set it all up let's do it all right it tells you to get your trailer level and measure the back to the ground from the frame to the ground and from the front of the trailer to the ground and make that the same but here is a much faster way there we go look at that we are leaning forward so we got to lift her up So on page two, you got this nice uh, questionnaire. You put the heights of the different parts of your trailer, the tongue height, truck height, the front and back of your car, the fenders right here. So we're gonna go out and get all those measurements and plug them in. All right. 
Measure the distance from the pavement to the inside of the coupler socket and receiver here. Next, they want the ground to the inside of the receiver hitch there. I'm gonna say that is 27, maybe even a quarter thickness of the metal. All right, 27 and a quarter. 27.25. Got it. Here, the toe ball should be one inch higher than the measurement in step two. So higher than the hitch uh, for the vehicle squat. So we, we, need, we need to add one inch to that, to this one. So what do we have? 27.5, we're gonna add one inch to that. 28, I'm gonna put it right here. Good grief. problem is what we have right now is 26 so we need to move the hitch up two inches so that helps us there finally what is the front fender dimension and the back fender dimension okay my truck is on a slight hill but that won't affect these measurements they want to get the front and back tire to the rim We're looking at 41 and a quarter See the front and 38 and a half 41 and a quarter 38 and a half finally on the bottom the front fender to the pavement 38.5 and the rear fender to the pavement 41.25 okay at this point I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up a little bit so they're not so loose so So that'll take you a minute or two because that's got to go all the way in, but this locks up really quick because it doesn't stick out as far. All right, put it on the truck. Okay, got the truck backed up here and I've also undid the hitch and moved it up to be 28. These guys in the right place Apparently, it's gonna work. This needs to go back that far. Well, let's go um, from center to center. Center to center. Oh, I'm loving it. The only place that this can fit is right between here and the batteries. So, it's gonna work. Loosen this up. Well, long bolt. Time lapse this. So in all the other videos that I've seen, they don't bolt this down, but I guess you can. You can just pinch this on and you're good. Let's hook this one on. Okay, we're hoping this will line up right here in this spot that I have on both sides. I got that one on. Let's get this one on. Okay, now we need to back up and get this chain to line up. See, it's right here now. We're hoping to line up with that. We we'll get underneath this. So to be able to get under this, we gotta lift this up now. Well, that's an issue. This is maxed out as high as it will go. So I gotta put a board under there. Okay, I have backed the truck right under the hitch and the ball, ready to connect. As you can see, the sway bar comes out. We are directly up underneath it, right there. Anything, it's slightly back, but I think I can now loosen this actually. Left it loose for a reason there. You can get it. Shake it off. Okay, as far back as I can go, I'm hitting the uh, battery there. Let's take a look at that. That feels like a right angle there. Right above it. All right, now I tighten these up. And then we can look at the distance to the ground 
and on all this stuff. Okay, again, to avoid doing anything wrong, right here, we're tightening this up with that, that's the lift bracket. It says, turn the hex bolts, right? Tighten it up until it makes contact with the trailer frame. Then tighten one fourth, sorry, turn with a wrench. Do not over tighten. So look for that big stuff. You don't want to make major mistakes. All right, let's do that. So I got it here. And we got that down. One quarter turn. There we go. That's tight. Sitting on there flat. Now let's lower the trailer so we can see if we got our five links there. Of course, we're supposed to close this off, lift the back of the truck up, then hook these on and then go down. Something else we can do to adjust is angle this down because we're supposed to be six inches from the ground and we're not. So that'll be the issue with our torsion. We're going to lean this out. So let's do that to adjust it. So our coupler is at, remember, 27. And this is way up high, 15 and three quarters. We need to get it down to, what do they say? The 26, we'll call it 27. We need to be at 10 and a half inches maybe. All right, for coupler A, 10 and a half inches. So this is where we use this little feature here to adjust. So we're gonna That's not doing anything. Watch this. Oh, see, there we go. I knew it. <laughs> now we are at eight, so we need to come back up to here. Nine, a little bit more. Keep uh, adjusting this screw in. There we go. Keep, keep screwing this in and lift it up. Because everything we have here is a little higher. Okay. Ten and a half, that's what I want. Now the uh, hitch has leaned back to bring the bars down lower, and therefore it doesn't match up here, so I gotta pull forward a little bit. Okay, we are back down. This is just kissing the ball there and this is nicely at ten and a half inches off the ground now we lock this up lift up the truck and the lift up the truck and the trailer and then we can get five links on here and set it back down we are money all right you notice we're totally level now we've got this on Okay, see, at least five chain links. So if you watch other videos, that's what they always tell you and that's what it says here in the directions. All right, let's make it happen. All right, let's hook up this trailer. Let's put a little bit of grease on this ball and we'll do the other one tomorrow and we'll put some grease on the sway bars. Put a little bit of grease on here too. I don't know how far up it goes. Okay, on in there. Something better than nothing there. And that sticks in here. Fill up. Locks in. Work the grease. All right, there we go. That one's in. We'll be hooking it up here in just a minute. Let me get the other side. On. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, more than five, they say, six, seven, because that's the highest one I can get probably on here. 
This uh, has a lot of slack in it, so I'm gonna lift it up, put this on, get it up to there, put the pipe on. There we go, so now I got my torsion, get out of the way, all the way up, snap. Got the pin here, goes this one here. Slides right through like that. Now we're gonna let it back down and it should create tension on the bars. Because they were a little tight, but not super tight. We gotta tell it to listen, comes in the air. And if it lifts the front of the truck up more than an inch, we gotta come make these tighter. Okay, now the moment of truth. Let's check our front fender, 38.5. And for fun, we'll do our back, 41.25. Probably should sag a little bit, down an inch or so. But that we want to be there or higher by one inch to 39.5. Let's check it out. There we are. We were at 38 and a half, and now we're at 38 and three fourths. So success. The sway bar is lifting the back of the truck up enough to put pressure on the front tires. Our back was 41.25. We're at 40, 41.25. We sagged an inch, pretty much an inch and a quarter push down here. Okay, time to get the anti-sway bar installed. So we need to mount this onto the trailer. It calls for an 11 32nd right there drill. Let's pull this out of the new, the new set I just got there from Harbor Freight. Yeah, looks like it does pretty good in the reviews. So we can check those out. That'll go right in there. We need to go right in the center so you can see the problem if you don't get these dead center. The next one won't fit perfect. Because right, these are nice and, nice, and, uh, nice and tight in there. We lift that up. See that? Barely, barely fits through. So if you don't have a center hole, be careful. So we're going to tap in the frame a dot and then drill into that dot, all right? Into that center dot, and hopefully line them all up. But I want this to be on there and marked. I can either circle all those with a pencil. I've heard it's better to leave it on there, so I'm gonna just tape this up with duct tape and hold it up there, little trick. Here we go. Okay, they want us to measure 24 inches from the center of the coupler ball socket down the side of the frame and mark this position. Place the trailer ball plate against the side of the frame level. All right, that's where it's gonna be. And then punch your holes through. All right, center where that ball is gonna be. Down, come down here a little bit, down 24 inches, right there. Where we want the ball, right, right there. Where we want the ball to be. Okay, so there's the ball. We want it right there. Dead center, level. It's a pretty little heavy plate there, but I think the duct tape can hold it. Look at that. And Then, we got power. This will help guide it in. sound solid okay finally we got the uh, bracket on ready to go we're gonna drop that on slide this in here boom looks good and we have the two pins this one goes right through here or like this locks that one in this one 
fell down on me. Can probably go from the top would be nicer. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. There it goes. It's got to be square. It doesn't want to go through. All right. That pin in there. Hold it straight up and down to do that. Got them locked in there. Good to go. Then they talk about tightening this so it gets tight. I'm going to have to turn more. Make sure this is pointing back, not hanging down. But it's getting pretty tight. Uh, I could do that. I saw a guy crank it up, so we'll check on that in the directions. Okay, there's our sway bar. Ready to have some safe travels now. Let's go. Hook up the power. Like this. And that stop there will help keep it from falling out. See? Can't, can't come out and pull on it. All right, we'll test the uh, lights in a minute. Yep. It's a little short. Chris, cross the chain. There we go. All right. Bam. Now, this cable. All right, our... Uh Brake cable seems a little loose. All right, guys, thanks for watching. But that's it for the self leveling hitch by Husky put together what it would actually look like if you tried to do it for the first time. Um, there you go. I'm pretty proud that we got that together and on, that the uh, front only rose three quarters of an inch. That's not bad at all. Um, but when I got it on the street and all level, it seemed like the front of the trailer was still a little high. And I think that would all be remedied by the whole hitch ball going down one slot with the pin. Of course, then I'd have to adjust that angle again and the bars, we'll see. I might try it out uh, in the future and see if I can get that to be more level all the way across just feels like the uh, the hitch is too high and the trailer's rising. Other than that, it's awesome and good to go. Nothing critical there. Um, harder than it seemed at first, but once you do it all, it's not that hard. Once you understand what you're trying to do, it's not that hard. It's just uh, trying to get your head around what's going on and what you're trying to achieve. And then you just work towards that and you're good. Be sure to comment in the comments below what your experience was putting this together for the first time or something similar. Uh, Self-leveling hitch with the uh, sway bar. I'd uh, love to read about it and hear, hear what you got to say. So good luck out there. Go ahead and buy one and put it on yourself. Talk to you all later. Check out some other videos on my site. Peace. Mm -hmm.